Hello Taurus and a very happy birthday to you for this month of May 2019 horoscope. There is so much being activated for you this month. This is like a brand new chapter, a new beginning with new possibilities and new opportunities opening up for you. So open yourselves up, you dear Taurians. Sometimes you get a little bit fixed and you hang on to what you know. Open yourselves up to something new coming in for you because that is what the stars are promising. On the fourth of the month, we start out with a lovely moon, new moon in your sign, joining the sun and Uranus in your sign in the first house. So new beginnings a new you emerging, a snake letting go of its old skin and something fresh and new and youthful and revitalized emerging. It's a wonderful time for treating yourself to something, especially as on the 7th of the month we've got Mercury coming in and on the 16th we've got Venus coming in to join the party of planets in Taurus this month. Venus in your sign makes you popular, charming. You're able to resolve conflicts, issues. People may come to you to have a listening ear for the things that they are facing. And you'll be able to soothe and help people as well. But this is a tremendous focus on you, of you speaking out what's important to you, Mercury in your sign. Venus, of you feeling and seeing the beauty that is inside of you and expressing that out in the world, your love, your joyfulness, no matter what's going on, in any moment you can turn things around. And this is what your unique opportunity is for you this month. You're getting a heck of a lot of help from the planets. For the first couple of weeks of the month, we've got Mars in your second house of money and finance. Wonderful time for putting energy into your finances, into getting a new job, into creating a new business, into moving along maybe some ideas that you've got. It's also a good time for revitalizing your talents and for standing tall and being confident in yourself. There's never going to be another one of you. Don't compare yourself to other people because there is no comparison. And when you get to that place, you'll automatically feel how valuable you are on this planet, right now, right here. And on the 18th of the month, we've got a full moon happening in your opposite sign, here in your seventh house of relationships. So we've got everything happening here for you, for you to come alive, a light, and here this full moon shining a light on your relationships. Maybe there are some changes to happen in relationships. Often with full moons, this does bring about a new perspective, a new way of behaving, of seeing your relationships. It can bring a new relationship. It can bring a completion of a relationship and the renewal of an existing relationship as long as some changes have been made. You might find yourself feeling a little emotional about a certain relationship. Have those emotions, see what's behind them, and see what needs healing so that you can move on more freely. On the 22nd of the month, we've got the sun coming into your second house of money, and on, also on the 22nd, Mercury, joining Mars in there. So, um, am I right there? Yes, I'm right. I'm questioning myself because Mars really should be in there from the 16th. So, that's all right. Uh, you can always correct yourself. Yes, in the moment you see a mistake, just correct it. So, we've got Sun and uh, Mercury in your second house of money. And uh, this is wonderful time for shining a light on your finances. Maybe applying for a new job. Maybe starting that new business that many of you have wanted to do for a long time. And then the second two weeks after the 16th, Mars in the third, this is a good time for short trips, a spontaneous trip somewhere, not necessarily far away, and also very good for networking and learning 
and communicating generally. So it's a wonderful month for you, dear Taurians. I thank you for subscribing, commenting, sharing, liking, and you might want to come for a personal reading to see what this year holds in store for you and how you can make best use of the planetary energies. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.